Rivera Beach residents tell 11 News they watched as some of the debris from the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed floated in the water of the Patapsco River and settled near the shoreline of their community. We actually noticed it floating in as we were looking out over to see the wreckage. Mark Ozerowski is a community member and monitor. Those investigating the Key Bridge collapse tell 11 News they began receiving calls about debris this past Sunday. According to the Maryland Department of the Environment, an inspector responded to Rivera Beach Sunday and confirmed the presence of wood debris with metal parts at three locations. The families living here are wondering what are the next steps at getting the debris removed. We knew that we were going to have some kind of ripple effect, but we need to understand, you know, what's, what we, we, we can't afford to, you know, take care of this stuff. It's, it's huge, right? The debris that's washing up is large. We don't have the means to deal with it. Um, so we need some support. They've been asking where to turn. We've been talking to the delegate Brian Chisholm's office. We've talked to the Army Corps of Engineers. We've talked to the Coast Guard Yard. So finally last night we got another uh, phone number mm -hmm. uh, to call. And uh, our beachkeeper liaison has called that number. And they have other concerns as cleanup efforts continue. Now we're looking for removal, but there's also, you know, some collateral damage that we feel is going to take place once they start dredging, you know, under the harbor and all. What's the, the water going to be like? And, you know, we don't really know. Now, we've been told that the Environmental Protection Agency is working on the situation here in Rivera Beach, trying to help the people here. And there is a debris hotline, so if you find any debris that you believe is from the bridge collapse, you can call this number. The debris hotline number is 410-205-6625. Once again, 410-205-6625. I'm sorry, 6625. Reporting live from Rivera Beach, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV. 11 News. All right, Barry, thank you along with that number. We have the links that you need for resources to get you help and how to report debris washing ashore. It's all in the WBAL-TV app.